Hi, this is Shane with the EWWW Image Optimizer. You can also call it the EU Image Optimizer, and I'm going to show you how to use our plugin and our services to speed up your site. Uh, we're going to start off today with our demo site and uh, the EU Image Optimizer. This demo site um, is already pretty fast, despite my best efforts to slow it down. Um, and by pretty fast, I mean this. Uh, that's a GT metrics report. Here's the PageSpeed Insights. Mobile can use some improvement, so that's probably where we'll see you know the biggest increase on this site. You know, other sites, your site might you know be getting a 50 on desktop already, and so you want to see some big improvements, and we'll help you figure out how to do that. So let's go on over to the WP Admin, and here we have our plugin already installed. It's in the WordPress repository. You don't have to go searching very far. Just add new EWWW and bam. All right, so let's go on over to the settings. And if you've never used it before, it'll come up with this wizard asking you what's the most important? What are you trying to accomplish? Whether it's speeding up your site or saving storage space, because we can do both. But certain settings in the plugin uh, will not save you storage space. In fact, they will probably use more storage space. Um, but this will help you avoid those things if you're needing to save storage space. We're not worried about that today. We're worried about speed. And of course, to get the most speed, we're going to activate the premium options. We're going to pop in our API key. The API key is for your local images, so use under media, the bulk optimizer, and that kind of thing um, that we'll get to here in a minute. Um, but EasyIO works differently. So it takes copies of your images, uploads them to our servers, converts them to WebP, optimizes them, does all its magic, and delivers them from our servers, or specifically the Bunny CDN. Um, so that's how that works, and it doesn't alter your local images. So if you don't want to mess up your local images at all, you don't have to put in your API key. You can just stick with the free compression. It's all lossless. doesn't change the quality one tiny little bit. And that might be great for you. And then you can activate EasyIO. And it'll take a little bit because uh, it's got to register and set up our site with the CDN and all that great stuff. Well, really, that's all it's doing. Got to add DNS records, and there it's done. All right, so next to next. So we recommend that you remove metadata from the images um, because there can be a lot of bloat there, especially if you're dumping images out of Photoshop or even straight from a camera. Um, you can save sometimes 5 to 10% just by ditching that. Crazily enough, I've seen images where you could save 90% just by getting rid of meta, metadata when they were coming from Photoshop. So that's important to have this enabled to maximize that compression, even in lossless mode, where it's not changing the bits of the or the pixels of the image. Um, it's just reorganizing all the data. Uh, that, that's super important. This is one of your big wins with that. A lazy load, even though WordPress has built in lazy load, we recommend you use ours because it integrates with uh, an auto scaler function uh, that will make sure that every device gets the best images for that device. So if you upload a huge image, it'll make sure that it's small. WebP conversion is built into EasyIO. Um, that can be turned on or off, and I'm, we'll show you that later. Uh, we recommend that you keep your full size images to a reasonable size, not using, you know, 16,000 pixel image or anything nuts like that. So 1920 is the typical full screen uh, size. You might see 2560, which is used by WordPress, and that would be an okay default as well. Uh, that's the size of my MacBook Pro screen. A lot of Mac devices use that uh, screen width. So 1920 to 2560, that's a good range. You can keep this on if you want the embedded help. You'll see that down here in a second. It'll pop up a little deal. It gives you instant access to our docs and the ability to email our support directly from your WP admin. Alrighty. Let's 
save our settings and of course it'll tell us we can go uh, to the bulk optimizer to optimize all of our local images um, if you're handy with WPCLI the command line you can make use of that and you can also do individual images in the list view of the media library so for now we're done and this takes us to the settings page and here's what it looks like so mostly all the same stuff um, EasyIO has some more settings um, if you want the JavaScript CSS fonts and all that to go over the CDN you leave this sucker enabled and that's exactly what it'll do it'll make sure your JavaScript and CSS is minified as well and compressed with gzip or broadly here's that auto scaling I was talking about so with uh, responsive markup it'll make sure that uh, the browser chooses the best image for exactly where it's displayed when you're using EasyIO it takes it a level further and images that don't have responsive markup will even be auto scaled so that's pretty cool so that's it if you're using EasyIO to speed up your site but if we also want to save uh, storage space we can compress those local images and the way we do that is with the bulk optimizer there's another link over here for that um, but it's under media and as you can tell I put a crap ton of plugins on here to try and slow the sucker down didn't work just saying <laughs> alright so we've got 507 images and here's one thing that catches a lot of people off guard each of those images on this site has 16 different sizes generated when we upload them so those are 16 different image files there's the full size version the thumbnail medium large a 1500 a 2000 pixel they're all over the place um, by default you'll probably see six or seven uh, but anything we've seen up to 60 sizes on a site which is just insane but it happens so we're gonna scan and see what happens some of the images on this site have been optimized already just a few but that's the total so out of those images that we had now we got 4,000 actual images to optimize and we can click that button and let it rip and it'll just go if you're on shared hosting you might want to slow down the process a little because even though you're using our cloud server uh, to compress those images it can put a little bit of load on your local server uh, just accessing the database updating image records and all that so if you want to be kind to your web host bump this up to like five seconds or something and that'll make sure that you're barely putting any impact on your server while you're running the bulk optimize so that's it for speeding up your site we'll dig into the more advanced options here in another video as well as our separate easy image optimizer plugin and our Swiss performance plugin as always happy optimizing